Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. Today we're going to be going over a little more tech talk and it's pretty simple what we're going to be going over today. Um, I don't know about you people but sometimes this gets a little annoying to me when you come in when you first turn on your computer system uh, where you put in your login information and all that it's always asking you do you like what you say and basically what it is is that it's a slideshow but the slideshow has a very long time lapse so that's why the same image can show for up to 24 hours but I'm going to show you in this video how you could bypass all this so if you don't want to always see do you like what you see and you always have to vote on every image that they show you plus uh, we could also show you in this video too how you could shut off all these topics that show up um, and things of that nature so let's get started the first thing we want to do now of course I can't use my video capturing programs and stuff like that when I'm in my actual login screen so I took took a uh, screenshot of mine and this is what the uh, what it was like when I had it originally set up to the to the uh, way Windows 10 comes but I'm going to show you how, how you could change all this okay so to get started uh, here we are now logged into our desktop and there's two different ways you can navigate this the easiest way I find is you could just right click anywhere on your desktop open up this menu and go down to personalize click on personalize and in here you're gonna have lock screen now another way you could also do this is if you right click on your start button at the very bottom left where you shut down your computer and stuff just right click on that and you could go to search and in search you could type in lock screen and it's going to show right up here. Turn the lock screen slideshow on or off. Now it's going to open up the same menu, the same uh, place that we're at. Now this is where it's set at defaulted from uh, Windows 10. This is the way it comes from Microsoft already set up. So basically what happens is that I guess that um, this is streamed from a server that Microsoft has set up that changes the image every now and then as I explained earlier but you can also make it where you could put a still picture of your own in there on your login screen so you don't have to use that option and you don't always have to vote if you like the image or not so basically when it's set at Windows Spotlight you just want to click on this window right here and then it's got these other two options picture and slideshow now a slideshow you could set up your own slideshow you could use your own personal photos just you know make a folder put them all in there and boom click on slideshow and then load that up it's gonna have the option to load it up so if we clicked on slideshow it's gonna say add folders add a folder so like I said you just make that folder and uh, and there you go but I'm just gonna use a still picture for mine so we're gonna go back up go to picture now once you go to picture you're going to have some images already shown. Well, I do anyway. If you don't, go to Browse. And Browse is going to open up all your folders. And you simply just pick uh, the folder that, that you have all your photos in. And that's where you could upload now a photo to this instead of using the defaulted one from Windows. So if we wanted to, say, change it to this one, we just click on it and that's pretty much it there's no save or anything in here and then you just exit out on the top right and that should now be your login screen image right there and you shouldn't get the prompt anymore do you like what you see okay now if you want to shut off the tips the tools all that that I showed you earlier also that you do right down here where it says get fun facts tips and more from Windows on your lock screen here you got the option of turning it on and turning it off so right now I got mine off so now if we went back to my login screen it should show it now with none of those tips and none of those messages except for my image and my password where to put in my password and that's it so and then you have other features you could do in here that there's a lot of settings you could do in here to really customize this if you want to 
they have all these apps down here I haven't messed with these so I'm not really sure what they all do but you could just read up on them and then you could also go to colors if we go to the left here under home go to colors and if you don't want to put an image you could just make it a color you could just make that login page red if you want or blue or whatever so you got the option of doing that also and let's see here okay now here's a screenshot I took of my login screen and we could see now that all that information is now gone and this is a picture that I actually ch uh, chose myself so this picture will not change now unless I change it I'll go back and put it back to the original settings the way that it came from Windows so this again this is an image that I picked the reason why it's still showing this tip up to the top left is because when I made this when I took the screenshot I did not shut that feature off yet so that's the reason why that's still showing but we could see that's not asking us do we do we like what we see and none of that stuff so now we would just have the login screen normally right here you put in your password and boom you're on your desktop and that's pretty much it folks it's that easy so until then thanks for watching wise gamer you have a great day take care bye bye